Hello! Today I am showing you guys a week or so worth of dinners that we had. And I'm starting things off with a kibasa creamy pasta kind of thing that I made up as I was going pretty much. So I have some pasta boiling and I have some kibasa in a pan with some peppers and onions i had like a mixed bag of peppers and onions frozen and then i also tried a new recipe for some homemade garlic bread and it turned out amazing next up i did a chicken barbecue ranch salad this has easily become one of my favorite salads that i make i just have some romaine lettuce some sunflower seeds some chicken nuggets cut up that's real mom life for you and string cheese sliced up as well. And Gianna had a cheese quesadilla with chicken nuggets as well and some apple slices. And I just did a side of barbecue sauce for her because she loves dipping things. Hi guys, so tonight for dinner, I have this corn chowder. It's a chicken corn chowder. It was in my freezer and I thought, you know what? We're having this tonight for dinner. Ready, ready, ready. Yeah. And also, Jean brought home some fresh bread from the Portuguese bakery. Sorry, the lighting's weird. The sun is super bright right now, but I just stuck this in the pan. Semi-frozen still, as you can see. I'm just going to put a cover on, turn the heat up, and watch it. For this homemade garlic bread, we're using the fresh bread that Jean purchased at our local bakery. I have some minced garlic here. Fresh would be great, but I don't have that on hand. Um, don't mind the loud child in the background. I have some parsley flakes, olive oil, and I'm just doing this small like personal loaf that I'm gonna cut in half. So for that, I need two tablespoons of butter. And it's seriously the easiest thing disregard the ping pong ball and chaos so first thing I'm gonna do is cut this loaf open next I'm using two tablespoons of butter about two spoonfuls of olive oil a sprinkle of parsley and some garlic I'm just mixing that up and you're just gonna wanna keep on stirring it until it gets nice and combined and sort of fluffy looking. Then you're just going to generously spread this all over the bread. And I baked that in my toaster oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. You just wanna watch it if you like a lighter bread. The bread's already cooked, so basically you're just melting the butter. I love crispy bread, that's my favorite, so I let mine just get a little bit dark. Okay, so tonight for the dinner, there is my soup, chowder, whatever you wanna call it, some garlic bread. Gianna's also gonna have some of this, and I'll give her a piece of my bread. And then Jean said he didn't want the chowder. So he, I'm gonna have some chowder. Not all of it. What do you think I'm gonna have a sandwich, chowder, and garlic bread? He doesn't like corn. Mommy. He's being picky about Mommy. Gianna. Let mommy talk. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. I like this. this is why I can't do anything. Gene doesn't like corn, so he wanted to have a sandwich and a little bit of the chowder. So I just 
made him an egg salad sandwich on that bread as well. Next up is some chicken fried rice. And I started this dinner earlier in the day by putting some chicken breasts into my crock pot. And I did that on low heat with about half a bottle of this teriyaki marinade. We love this one. It's from the Lori's brand. Then I'm also going to start my rice. I like to cook my rice way before dinner time so that way it has time to cool down. I have found that my fried rice tastes the best when I use leftover rice. And I always just add a little bit of oil and salt to my rice. Now it's almost dinner time, like five or so hours later, my chicken is done. And so I'm just going to cut that up and as you can see it's just falling apart because it is perfect. Here I have a hot pan with some oil in it and I'm cooking some chopped onion. Once those have cooked up a little bit, I am adding a egg. And just kind of like pan scrambling it Then I add my rice and some soy sauce as well as some of the teriyaki sauce that was left over from the crock pot. I just literally poured it from the crock pot into my pan of rice. And I also added my chicken into that pan. On the side, I actually roasted some broccoli because my family doesn't always love broccoli, but I found that roasting it is delicious, at least for myself. And what ended up happening was that Gianna ate all of everyone's broccoli because she loved it so much. And I'm really glad I found a vegetable that she likes. So I'll definitely be making that again.
And to end things off that night, we had some brownie sundaes. I love to make an extra batch of brownies whenever I'm baking them and cut them up and put them in the freezer. Then I have a ton of brownies that I can just warm up whenever. Put a few scoops of ice cream on top of that and some caramel sauce and it's just delicious. Those are just some of the dinners we had that week. Thank you for watching.